Hi, shiny fannies. I look like this right now and I don't care, so deal with it. Um, <laughs> I've had a kind of a scary day. Um, as you can tell from the title of this video, can you please pray for my bird? Um, I'm going to start crying again. Sorry, I'm all puffy because I've been sobbing. So this is Lemon, for those of you that don't know. Hi. Can you say hi? So I went to wake up Lemon and... Um, and I held her, um, which is weird. She doesn't usually get right on my finger. She's very snotty and, I mean, she's my favorite, but she's stubborn and I don't know. She usually bites me, but she didn't this time. She got right on my finger and she was really weak and really lethargic and her fur is really splotchy, falling out everywhere, her feathers, which is normal for molting season, but this is different than molting. Something else is up. She's got dark circles around her eyes. Her sear is really crusty. Her sear is where her nostrils are. Hey, can you look this way? Let me look this way. Hi, thank you. So you can see how crusty, see how patchy her, her feathers are too. And she's literally half the weight that she was a week ago, <clears throat> which is really bad. She wasn't eating, she wasn't drinking. She was being really lethargic, uh, not able to move, really weak. She was like wobbly. She's still kind of wobbly. Um, so for those of you who don't know, parakeets um, don't, you don't know that they're sick or you don't know that they're, yeah, you don't know that they're sick until right before they die. <laughs> parakeets don't show signs of sickness. Um until it's time for them to die. So like every bird that I've ever lost, uh, they would get sick and then later that night they would die. Um, and there's no way to stop that. Like that's the crappiest thing about having parakeets is you never know um, when they're gonna go because you don't get a warning. You get like a 12 hour warning and that's it. So the other birds I've lost acted exactly how Lemon is acting today. So that's cool. So I've been crying a lot. Um, I will say though, big accomplishment, she did just eat. I think she ate maybe five seeds and that's a big deal. Um, that's a really, really good sign. So I'm hoping that she'll be one of those, you know, percentages of parakeets that once in a blue moon, they do get sick and they don't die from it, but it just doesn't happen. Like once they start showing the signs, they go. So I'm heartbroken and I hope that she'll be okay um, cause I, oh, I'm gonna cry again. Stop looking at me like that. I love her so much. Are you my favorite? Are you my favorite? Yeah. Are you so tired? You look at mama. Hey. You don't feel good, huh? She's so skinny, you can't tell, but she's literally half her size. Danny was, Danny came home to check on both of us before he, he just went to go get us dinner. Um, and he was like, maybe she got pregnant. Maybe she got pregnant, so we checked the cage for, for um, eggs and couldn't find any, so it's possible maybe she miscarried, I don't know. Like I've never heard of, I've read so much material on parakeets never ever heard of a bird acting, showing all these signs and then not dying. Um, so like I'm trying to prepare myself in case it does happen, but the fact that she just ate five seeds gives me a lot of hope. Um, so that's good. So you can, can you eat five more seeds for mama? Huh? Can you eat five more? She was so sweet. You can go follow me on Instagram and look at my story because um, she's being so sweet and snuggly, which is not like her. She was earlier, she was like nuzzling into my neck and just sitting on my chest. That's what she wanted to do. That's very abnormal for her. She doesn't do that. That's exactly what Bungie and Buddy both did before they died. Um, so I'm like out of tears. I'm so emotionally exhausted. You gonna live for mama? 
You gonna live for you? You got lots more seeds to eat. You got lots more, you got lots more things to play. You got lots more days to breathe and scream and fly. You can't go yet. You're not old enough. So parakeets can live up to like, I think it's 13 or 15 years. My parakeets, I don't know what I do wrong. I take really good care of my birds. But for some reason, they usually only live a few years, like three to five years. Um, and that's about how old Lemon is. So I've been like putting that in the back of my mind, being like, well, I hope she surpasses the other ones. Um, we'll see. I hope so. You're my favorite. She's my favorite. I mean, Buddy was my favorite ever. And you. Um, and she's the only one here that knows Buddy, besides me and Danny. Like, the other birds don't know Buddy. Do you remember Buddy? And I think that Buddy's sweetness wore off on you. And then you continued to carry it. And then you continued to give it to Mama. You are so skinny, honey. Oh, my gosh. You guys can't tell. Oh my gosh. How is that possible? Literally a week ago I was holding her and thinking she is so fat. Like this is the fattest one of my birds has ever felt ever. And now she's like wasted away. Can you eat a little more for mama? So I've just had her in my room with me for a few hours now. <laughs> just like I don't want to leave her side and just making sure she tries to eat. She hasn't drinking anything yet. Um, but I got her her own little cup and her own food and water so she doesn't have to fight with brother and sister. Did you get pregnant? Is that what happened? Did you have a baby and then that's why you got skinny all of a sudden? Huh? Did Barry get you pregnant? Lemmy, did you not use a condom? Lemmy? Lemmy? Look at Mama. Did you not use a condom? Okay, I'll ask Barry about that, okay? Yeah, did he take advantage of you? Did he get you pregnant? <laughs> yeah. You're just an old lady and you just want to be happy eating your food and not be bothered by the two young baby birds in there that are chasing each other all day and they're both really young and energetic and horny yeah, sometimes you just need a peace and quiet, huh? Because you're the mama bird. I love you. It's unreal how much love you can have for a little tiny animal that's the size of my fist, like even smaller than that. Like I can't snuggle with her except today she's been snuggly. I can't snuggle with her. She doesn't really her or do whatever I don't know what dogs do I'm not a dog person but it's just the comfort like they just know they know when you're not okay and it's just a feeling I guess it's just such a comfort you can feel their little spirits with you and it's just the sweetest thing in the world I love you so much I do well um have I told you everything that I can so far, I think so. Please pray for her. Go watch my Insta story if you'd like, at educating underscore Shani on Instagram. Um, and I'll be doing little updates on there. So, um, oh, and I did want to say thank you for all of the wonderful, lovely feedback from yesterday's, or earlier today, I guess, video. Um, thank you. It, you guys are very sweet and loving and kind and encouraging and I know that I need to I need I need to um I need to try again and I need to not give up. So I'm not going to. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you probably later tonight because I'll probably make another video later because that's what I do now. I just make multiple videos in vertical form to annoy you and then talk really quietly so it's even more annoying to watch my videos. You're welcome. Sorry, I really don't mean to do that. I'll try and remember to project. 
Um, yeah. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. You're beautiful and worth it, and I am too. Please pray for my little baby. Can you say please pray for me? You're gonna be okay. You gonna be okay?